This is the dynamic hip flexor stretch. So I'm gonna show you how to do it, then I'll give you a few tips afterward. Okay, so let's break that down. What you're doing here is you'll see most people, they'll do a static stretch. I'm not a big fan of static stretching anymore. If you're using this to increase your mobility, to prepare for a workout, it's better to be dynamic. And let's talk about a couple mistakes here. What you wanna do is you wanna get it to a good position with your body, good posture, right? You don't wanna be hunched over too relaxed. You wanna keep your core not super tight, but a little bit taut so that when you come forward, you're not letting your back arch too much. You're just trying to isolate your hip here. Also your knee and ankle are gonna be bending in the front leg, but this is really about what's happening at the hip. So keep good posture. And what do you wanna shoot for? You can do anywhere from, let's say five or six reps all the way up to 20, depending on what you're looking for. What you wanna avoid is getting too much fatigue. This is just to increase the range of motion, to warm up the joints and to prepare you for heavier, harder exercises. Give it a try.